So my name is Nicholas de Rose, and I'm from Singapore. And my story is sort of how I came out in the military. And when I mean the military, it is the military in Singapore where I was born. So when every sort of male hits the age of 18, um, you usually have to enlist in the military for national service. What happens, uh, you know, when it comes to being gay in the military is sort of sort of not like America, where they have don't ask, don't tell. In Singapore, they will ask you. Like, and they have this list, they run through, uh, do you have any history of lung diseases? Do you have heart diseases, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then they ask you, do you have any mental disorders, i.e. homosexuality? So that is sort of the tipping point where you tell them you're homosexual or you don't. People usually don't declare. So I didn't declare as well, and I went through sort of like, um, like base, start off in basic military training school. I was called in to see my commanding officer and stuff like that, and he sat me down and he says like, uh, do you know why you're here? And I'll say, I don't know, why, why am I here? Uh, and he says, well, you know, um, I've heard some rumors about you, and I want to find out if they're true or not. I ask him, what are those rumors? Uh, and he says, well, um, I heard that you're gay. You know, is, it, is this true? And I ask him, you know, why is this an issue? You know, is this, um, and honestly at that point, I was like prepared for anything. I was like, I was gonna get court martial. I was like so sure of it. But really, I mean, his answer really surprised me because he said that, uh, well, I was wondering, you know, in case, you know, you were uncomfortable staying in the bunk with the boys, I don't think myself, you have no idea how far you're from the truth. You have no idea. So, I mean, his answer was really surprising because you think it was going to be like really negative and stuff like that, but it was actually coming from a place that was really supportive. We, we fear that we have to use the worst, worst play scenario out of our minds, but sometimes I think that we need to learn to trust people. And, you know, we may get hurt, you know, along the way, but that makes us stronger. And if we take that risk, we also reap the re a greater reward.